So you can move these either like this, or you pull them out. You can move the long ends in. Uh, what I like to do when I really want to control the shadows is I'll put one in all the way, and then this one will come down. So only the light that can come through is right here. So it's really thin already. So then wherever you block it off here, it's really going to cut the light. A lot of lights have barn doors where light can escape from the side. And sometimes you can use that, that kind of fraction on the background there. I did that for a long time when I only had uh, two lights or one light even. With a light like that, I would light it from above and then have the light that comes out of the barn door in the back light the background. So then I'd have a two light look with one light. You see that sharp shadow? That's just from folding it over all the way and then having control with this one. So that's all it is, is this barn door here. Wherever I put that, that's where the shadow goes. And then you can even try it with the bigger ones. Do the same thing. You see you get a bigger line like that. And sometimes if you do it like this, like the David Bowie look, I'm gonna do a multiple exposure with the F2. I'm holding the rewind button and then advancing the lever. So the film didn't move at all there. Okay. I'm trying to go with the contours of her face. You see her, she her cheekbone, that's the contour right there at the angle. So I'm in line perfectly with that. So if I move it over here, it's still parallel with that. Good. Looks pretty cool.